everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thought I would take you along with me this morning. I am out and about in Memphis and I don't normally go out by myself very much. I am a election officer in my county and I've got to do about three hours of training and then when we leave here I'll take you to this little church thrift store that I love to go to. All right, everybody, I'm back in the car now. I've got three hours of new election information, but just a little public service announcement. And in my personal opinion, I never have understood why some people don't vote. It's one of the very few rights we have as American citizens. It's just something that every responsible citizen should do. It's too late now to register for this March election, but on March the 3rd, exercise your right to keep America great and vote for your presidential primary. I'm about a, a mile and a half away from a little thrift store I wanted to take you to, and I'll take you along and see what I can find. All right, I am here at Bibles for China Thrift Center. This is owned and operated by one of the biggest Baptist churches in the tri-state area. It's so big, we kind of call it as a joke, Six Flags Over Jesus, which that may be offensive to some people, but it is a wonderful Baptist church that does lots of outreach programs. So let's go in and see what they got. back in the car now. I'm afraid some of my footage in there was a little choppy because there's lots of older ladies that work in there and they kind of look at you and wonder what in the world you're doing. So hopefully you can get a little idea of some of the things I looked over. I'm about 30 minutes from home. I'm going to grab some lunch and then I will share with you what I found today. Okay friends, I am back home now and I'm ready to share with you what I found. I spent a right at $9 I think. Their prices are a little cheaper than Goodwill, but you know anywhere you go thrifting it's hit or miss and Bibles for China is no exception. I have found some great things there in the past and there's been times I've found nothing. But they're on the complete opposite side of town from me and so I don't get over there very often unless I'm doing my election training. And sometimes it's once a year, sometimes it's three times a year but that's usually the only time I make it over there. So the first thing I found was $3. Their women's workout shirts were $3 each. I found this brand new kind of dry fit, uh, dry weave or whatever it's called. It's the um, brand new tank top. It's got a cute braiding across the back. So super cute for me to do my Zumba every week. The next thing you're probably gonna think, why in the world did she buy this? And I'll give you a little backstory. All their men's shirts were $3.50, which is about almost half price of what Goodwill is. 
I found this man's shirt that's got the camouflage with the cheetahs on there. Well, my husband is a police officer, so some days he wears tactical uniform, and many days he wears has to wear a dress shirt. So, you know, you have the Christmas ugly sweater. Well, he's got an everyday work shirt going on. So I have bought sailboats. I have bought fish. I've bought cars. You name it. But the uglier and gaudier they are, the more he loves them. And so it's always kind of an inside joke now. I look to see what he's wearing to work that day. Okay, but this one will certainly uh, fit the bill. Camouflage with like these running looking uh they look like gazelles or maybe cheetahs or something i can't quite tell but he's gonna love wearing this and it's like brand new so i can't imagine why someone uh didn't wear it out all right the next thing with me being an educator i was just familiar with this brand it's a sally foster gift wrap sally foster was a school fundraising company for years it was always really quality paper and i got it for a dollar it's 12 feet really cute spring stripes. I can either craft with it. It's great for a, a girl's birthday or a baby shower or something like that, but just really cute print. I want to say they've gone out of business. I might be wrong, but this is a great buy for a dollar because it normally would have cost, you know, between five and ten dollars for this, but it was a fundraiser. All right, last but not least, I found this cute little thing, and I love to find things that I can turn around and use for a second season or whatever. So the, the last thing I found was this really cute galvanized watering can for $2. You know, I'm not opposed to what's on there. It's I think that's really cute for the fall. Pumpkins, country seeds. Uh, it would be at least $10 at Hobby Lobby. And what I love about it is the back is totally blank. I can take my vinyl cutter and put something cute on there for year round or put something for spring and summer. Really cute decor piece for $2. So there you go, friends. That's my little thrift haul today. Thank you for stopping by and seeing what I found today. And I'll be back in a few days with a little Valentine treat recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.